Good morning. It is Sunday. It is the 15th, 15th of August. Um, and a little kind of backstory to this is that at the start of summer, we got all our kids and teens to uh, climb Bray Head, uh, which is a kind of a, a mini mountain in Bray uh, with weights. We got them to hold uh, a 10 kilo or 5 kilo weight all the way up and all the way back. And the goal was then over the summer we're going to train and then we're going to retest our fitness by doing a four hour hike in Glenda Lock, which is a, a national park in Wicklow. Uh, so this vlog is going to be about their journey and getting it done. The reason for the way is very simple. Sometimes you got to do things that are outside your comfort zone. And sometimes the challenges make you better physically and mentally and i know that along the way we're going to have some ups and downs and we're going to have some grumpy kids and some grumpy teenagers we're going to have some good times and happy times sad times and people are just like why am i here but at the end of it all they're going to appreciate what they did why they did it and they're going to be better for it boom all right so this is the deal we've got fours sixes nines tens slam balls that are Kids will be rocking up Glendalock for four hours. They're gonna love me for this. Um, Alex is here. Uh huh. The truck's here. Oh, the last time there was a deer right there. Yeah. Yeah. Before we get into yeah. it. Yeah. Ready for today? Gonna have so much fun? Yeah? Fun in the rain? Yeah. Of the mountain, Challenge accepted. lads are Challenge fighting each other. Right. Hey. A lot of them finding it tough, yeah, especially the kids. Oh, One of the kids is really yeah, struggling. Yeah, she's gonna get yeah. through it. <laughs> she's gonna realize today that she's a boss. Really and this is like challenges that work hard. Yeah, no, not really. And this is challenges that make people better. No, Firm not. believer in going outside your comfort zone what a beautiful to become better. Day. Day on the challenge, seen some deer, it's pretty cool. And um, some of our kids are again, they're struggling, but they're getting better. The kids that were struggling earlier are starting to kind of find a groove. Um, we've taken all the well, most of the med balls 
our slam balls off the kids and give them to the teens. Some of the kids are still holding and swapping in between. Um, and we just had a little break, so we're on the nicer part of the walk. And yeah, everyone seems to be having more chats and uh, doing it well, so still another two hours to go. But so far, so good. Good job. You want to put the ball back in your hand? Nope. Here it is. Coach Abby. Whoa, go on, coach. Say something. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. With a bucket in spade. Did you not know that one? What's your favorite Disney song? Well, what's a good song to sing? I don't know. Don't know? No. no. Okay. We're hitting phase two, where the kids are getting grumpy again. <laughs> are you grumpy? No, I'm just tired. Tired? Well, we'll sleep when we get home. Well, I'm trying to play the I'm going to have a cold shower. Cold showers. Make you feel good. Lucy was still smiling? Oh, it's... Yeah. Oh, you got a cut? Alright, I'm gonna look after you. And that is boy versus girl. So kids, what's happening here? How are we feeling? Good. good? Kids are feeling good. David, what's happening? You good? Yeah. What's the rule? The teens have to be where? In front of us. In front of us. And all, like, pretty much since halfway, where have the teens been? Behind us. All the kids are kicking butt at all the teens. I think all the kids are in front now. Yeah, all the kids are in front of the teens, but some all of the kids are, kids are, right. are behind us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the teens are too busy. The teens are too busy having chats, splashing each other with water, putting muck on their faces. And um, yeah, teens just being teens. Our kids are bossing. Bossing it. And I nearly fell three times. But I got Molly to look after me in case I do. Good job, David. Let's go! Go, Keen! That's it. Take a load off. Well done, you. What a day yesterday. We got our kids and teens to do a hike, like I say, up over Glendale Lock. It was an amazing experience for a lot of them. It was, it was tough. We made um, them go into groups of two and they all had to carry a slam ball and then rotate the slam ball uh, over like a five minute or 10 minute time frame, depending on how they felt. And for a lot of them, it was tough. It was tough to hold the ball. It was tough going just to do a four hour hike and anyway uh, for a lot of them it was the first hike they did and the reason we we did it is to kind of make them endure a bit of hardship and it was raining as you could see like you could barely like see the the scenic views of Glendalough because of the rain which I really enjoyed because it made it that much more difficult because they were wet 
they were getting tired, they were hungry, they were thirsty, they had to carry a weight, um, their legs were sore, their shoulders were sore, their back was sore. And it, it, it only stands to help someone grow to overcome a challenge. And it's evident because uh, there was certain points where we had to, and this was mainly with our, um, with our kids, uh, there were certain points with the kids is that we had to have a conversation and like at least two of our kids got upset and um, but they were upset because they didn't know how to communicate their their feeling of they're tired and they're, they they kind of want to stop and we spoke to them and I, I, I any any of the kids that kind of got tired or got into that kind of kind of slightly upset or emotional state we got them to walk in front with me and then I spoke to them and it was one of those things where we're kind of saying like it's going to be okay it's going to be okay it's going to be five minutes and we got them to work on their breathing and then we got them to have a little bit of food and then we distracted them with conversation and for two kids in particular uh, one was quite upset uh, at one point and then further down the line the other, the other person got upset and I got into the same thing I spoke to them and I, I kind of got them to understand what we're doing and why we're doing it the last hour of that hike, they would not stop talking. They would not stop telling jokes. They were running ahead. They were asking could they carry a ball. They were so into it. Now, if there was an option for them to have quit halfway through, the experience would always have been, I'm never doing that again. I don't want to do that. And they would have never learned. Because I wouldn't allow any parents and because I was able to speak to them and get them to work through that kind of 10, maybe 15 minutes where they were really uncomfortable and they just didn't want to be there and there were some tears, that they ended up the last hour enjoying it, for pretty much forgetting about the negative experience they had and that they loved it. And, even one, and then when we got to the bottom, we showed them how high they climbed and they were like, oh my God, look what I've done. So I think it's a really good thing to use your fitness but I think it's a really good thing to get kids to and teens to go outside their comfort zone so vlog with the kids and teens it was great it was a great day my legs were a bit tired after that um, and to the next one see y'all soon